I don't know anything about you, but I felt that the world is coming to an end. I don't know how to explain it, but I've seen so many articles where there's like the upcoming recession, hyperinflation coming soon, all these like fears to scare you, whether it's Andrew Tate or these YouTubers like Andrew Tate or Imad Gadzi talking about this is your last time, your last chance to become rich only by my course, which is $997. Now, I never bought the course or I never bought Hustlers University from Andrew Tate. So I don't know anything positive or negative about them. I never bought any of those, right? So I can't say anything. But what I do know is I don't have the cash. I don't have the money. And chances are, if you're watching this video, maybe you don't have the cash too. But these are habits that I know will make me successful. Now, I really don't want to waste your time. We're going to get straight into the video. But these aren't like, I know what you're expecting, right? Are you expecting, well, I'm going to read, blah, blah, blah. And that is coming up. But these are specific things that I'm going to say. And I know for a fact you probably haven't really thought of them. Now, the first habit I'm going to work on, and by extension, the first habit you should work on. And this is something I just made up on the spot. I know it's incredible, right? But a sexy mind, <laughs> a sexy mind, <laughs> a healthy mind is a healthy life right so the first habit i'm going to focus on is specifically trying to fix my mental health now of course i'm an alpha male right and i <laughs> i can't even say that with a straight face um <clears throat> now of course i'm an alpha male right and i don't feel emotions but let's be honest man i do right we, we do feel we feel emotions right we want to be stoic but stoicism isn't about not feeling emotions it's about feeling emotions but doing the right thing regardless, right? So the number one thing I'm going to focus on is my mental health. But how am I going to do that? How am I going to focus on my mental health? Now, the first thing I'm going to do, and you're going to click off the video the first... If, I'm going to say this word, and you're going to click off this video because you're a dumbass, right? But listen, just pay attention and just focus, right? First thing I'm going to do is meditate because I believe that to control your emotions, right, is to understand your emotions. And the best way to understand your emotions is meditation. First of all, meditation allows you to identify emotions right there's been times i've woken up right and i just feel bad i just feel like i i wouldn't say sad but i just feel not capable right i just feel close to depressed but i don't know exactly why so if i meditate i tend to find just my reason why now something else meditation helps with is focus right it's focus right i've started to get into the habit of reading books but when i read a book i'm sure you felt this too you're reading a book right you're looking at the pages you read a paragraph and then you realize you nothing you just read entered your brain literally you weren't focused you were reading the words but the words didn't enter your brain so i think meditation helps fix that right that you're reading and that you'll be able to recollect what you just read so meditation helps with that now something else i'm doing is called gratitude journaling found it so gratitude journaling is basically i write down what i'm grateful for right and i find that when i write down what i'm grateful for I just tend to have a more positive day, right? So gratitude, and I think there's science behind it. I'm not going to link the studies because I'm not a dork like you. But <laughs> but uh, gratitude is basically, if you can find, if you can be grateful for just the mundane things in life, you'll become more happy. And you know, happiness is not the goal. And you know, you should be able to do work without your feelings, blah, 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 whatever the red pill says, right? But I find that happiness and motivation and all that stuff is just an extra boost to help you with your life. Now, when I talk about having a healthy mind, there's the last thing I want to talk about, and that is going outside and going for a run. Right now, I'm also outside and I'm enjoying nature. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you're depressed or sad or, you know, you just, bro, step outside. I think the worst thing ever is if we're all stuck up at home, just staying at home, then go to work, then maybe hit the gym. That, bro, there's no sunlight. I mean, it's kind of, the sun is not really hitting here, but bro, if you want to fix your mental health, this is definitely something to add, to add in your repertoire. I just heard that word. It's pretty, uh, <laughs> repertoire. If you know anything about me, you know, like cardio is one of the, my, my worst uh, attributes. I, I'm pretty strong, you know, pretty fit, but cardio is just the thing that kills me every time. But now I look at it and, you know, I'm pushing myself to my physical peak. And sooner or later, I'm going to be the sexiest man of all time. <laughs> so right now I'm training for a marathon. And I don't know how I got wrapped into that one. But I'm training for a marathon. But I realize I'm not going on a treadmill indoors. That's just, that's depressing. I don't know. I just think of that depresses me. What you should do is just either I go for a run, but maybe you go for a walk. Go for a walk and enjoy na nature, right? I'm not like a therapist or anything, but bro, I know for a fact my mental health was sucked. I know for a fact if you do it, you will see a massive, massive increase in your mental health. So just promise me, all right, that you're going to do it.
Now, the second habit that's going to make me more successful and by extension make you more successful is something I call deep work. Right now, if you watch Hamza, if you watch like and maybe other self improvement channels, you've probably heard of this um, kind of uh, concept, right? But deep work is basically setting time aside to do nothing but complete focused work. Now, for example, my phone is on do not disturb, right? Actually, no, it's no, it is not. Uh, give me one second. Oh, yes, it is. My phone is on do not disturb. And that means no one can text me. No one can call me. I won't even see the notification. What I'm focused on is making a YouTube video, making a YouTube video and creating content. Right. I have a very specific schedule on the way I want, like my life or my day to look like. Right. And of course, my schedule isn't perfect. Sometimes I miss it, but I'm going to show it on the screen. And I really do. And in, in, I really do encourage you to seriously, seriously consider making a schedule. Now, my schedule is very specific, and I'm going to link down below on, I think, the specific template I use for my schedule. But there's something easier that you can do. And I got this concept from Hamza, and I'm just giving credit where credit is due. And that is to make a habit tracker. Now, I'm going to show you my habit tracker, and this is something that you can incorporate. In. And it's very simple, right? Very simple and something you should do. I write it on pen and paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a pen, a uh, paper piece of paper and you're going to put the month on top like top left right now mine is november and then you're gonna put the habits you want to fix so like meditation gratitude journaling so my habits would be like meditation gratitude journaling exercise reading and then content creation so these are habits i'm trying to specifically work on and this is very simple you know you just do those things and then you number it from one to um I, one to well, 30 or 31 depending on the month right you number it and then every single day you're just gonna check off, check off what you can do. And very simple. I meditated for about 15 minutes. Maybe you can only do one minute. If you meditate for one minute, that's fine. Just check it. If you're right, one thing you're grateful for, that's fine. Just check it. If you exercise, I don't do like 10 push-ups, right? Or like 15 push-ups. do a little bit of something, right? And then you can check the box, check the box. The point is to make this a habit, right? It's a habit tracker. Now the third habit to work on is reading, right? And I know you're going to click off this video, but just listen, just pay, just give me a second, bro. There are people that are smarter than us, me and you, right? There are people that are smarter than both of us. They have written their knowledge on a piece of pen and paper. And you've definitely heard the saying, smart people learn from their mistakes, but wise people learn from the mistakes mistakes of others wouldn't it make sense to if you want to be wise to learn from other people's accomplishments or other people's experiences there is a way to learn that is reading right now i'm trying to get through a book a week i'm gonna do it and i'm not gonna like just skim through it i'm going to read a book a week i'm going to completely own. and i'm going to read books on skills i want to specifically improve on right whether it's business you know whether it's how to be charismatic, sexy, so you guys like me more. I'm gonna specifically read those books, and then we're gonna we're gonna see. You're gonna watch my progress, right? And hopefully this inspires you, and hopefully you do the same thing. So imagine you read a book a week. Imagine reading a book a week, bro. How much more like just information, and how much more things would you just know offhand, right? Now the fourth habit that's gonna make me successful is. I am doing content creation, right? So now I'm, send, I'm setting the intention to fully, fully focus on making content. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to focus on making at least two quality YouTube videos every single week, right? And I'm going to make a couple of YouTube shorts, like Instagram shorts, like TikTok shorts, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to focus on doing that. And man, I, I really do believe when I do all these things and by extension, when you do all these things, all these skills are going to compound and we're going to be so successful imagine doing this for a year consistently for a year or two just imagine what kind of life we would have i know i will be successful as i incorporate this uh i know it will i know i'll be successful i just have to have the strength to do it right right now it's not the it's not the easiest part of right now i'm going through like a pretty hard time in my life right but i know i'll get through it and i know I know that I could be a case study for someone that's younger. Maybe they're going through stress too. And hopefully by then I would have built a community that can help young men like properly, not some random whatever, man. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe if you want to, of course. I would love to see you in my Discord. Many. Well, I'm getting a bunch of men just specifically focused on self-improvement in that Discord. Uh, right now I'm trying to get through like a group call right, every single week or just as often as I can. And, you know, build a community, man. So if you want to be a part of that, I'd love to have you. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.